Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. So, I'm in a different location as you can see. So I'm currently on holiday in France, in Disneyland Paris. And we have come out for the day to a massive shopping centre which is just up the road called Val de Europe. Massive, massive, huge shopping centre. And there's a couple of places in here that sell Lego. So I'm going to go in and check out to see if there's any Lego and any Lego bargains. So let's jump in. As we come in, we have got shops I've never heard of. Uh, there's loads of shops in here that we've heard of. I see people with Primark bags. But, yeah, massive and quite busy. We've got Arshon at the back there. So we'll have a look around. So I'm going to head into Fnac. Now, it's a little bit like Curry's and HMV. It sells loads of tech, loads of TVs, games, Funko Pops, Lego, music, books, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to go in there and check it out. And I can already spot a Lego sign over in the background. And we'll see if there's any Lego. Oh yeah, look, they've got some Lego there. Let's just have a little look, see what we've got. So we've got some Star Wars stuff. Star Destroyer there, 69.99 in Euros. I'll put the conversion price at the bottom of the screen. I mean, some of these boxes are a bit bashed up. Look at the state of this. This is the uh, Yavin 4 Rebel Base. That's been like tabs have come away there. I mean, this you can usually get on offer for around kind of 100 or 110, usually 150, it's 170 euros, so it's about 150 pounds. What else we got down there? We've got the Onyx Cinder in. But these boxes though, look at that. Terrible. The Justifier. Don't have to see that one. Crikey. Uh, what else have we got? Mandalorian Starfighter. And the Batman, Batmobile from Animated Series. Board Intantive. Endor Speeder Chaser, much as Endor. 79.99, so yeah, it's about 65. Something like that. X Jet there. They got some of the new release stuff. Dancing Groot. And we've got some Harry Potter stuff as well. All about is a Madam Malkin's robes. The um, oh, just spotted. They got the Avengers Avengers Assembles kit. How much is that one? That is a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars? A hundred euros. Mandrake plant. They got a load just dumped here. Oh my word, look at this. They've got the Hulkbuster. Look at the state of that box. I mean that is would you buy that? How much are they selling it for? So the price on this one is 550 euros. I mean look at the state of it. Would you buy that? I mean Jesus. And they got some, what else they got in? Loads of the modern house. They're not too bad. Some friend sets. It's just like they've been dumped here. Some more Leonic Cinders. Spider-Man. Again, look, another high-end priced set. Look, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Castle. Concord there. Again, dog-eared boxes. The new G500. The A-frame cabin, that looks a little bit worse for wear. How much is that one? Why do I always put the prices on the bottom? 180 euros. So about 150-ish. About Got the Dungeons and Dragons set there, look. As well. That's starting to get a little bit beat up. Big Simba. Some botanicals. How much is the Big Simba? 130 euros. We've got quite a bit here. It's a bit like a jumble sale. Well, it's all laid out. Some city sets, some friends sets there. Got the jazz quartet. I mean, you don't usually see many of them around in one go. There's loads there, look, well, six. How much is that one? 100 euros. The Lamborghini, look, 500, 450. Again, that's been opened. They've stuck some of their own tape on it. Jeez. Yamaha there, look. The Ferrari. I mean, look at these. We've got a UCS Razor Crest upside down. 
don't usually see this much at all. The state of it. Wow. Sacrilege. Taj Mahal. What else? Some speed champions, the new, um, well, I say new June 1st AMG twin pack. How much of the, uh, oh, I've got the NASCAR one that just come out. That is 27 euros. Probably about 22, 23. Some Ninjago sets and creator sets. But yeah, I mean it's a nice, nice setup there. We've got some shelving for it, but it's just a bit of a bit of a mess really. A bit surprised at that. We've got some other stuff around here. They've got some, some dream sets, sorting hat. Those are Funko Pops if you're into them. Uh, Got the pirate ship down there, just like on its side, getting bashed as people walk by it. How much is that? 130. 130 for that one. A few Animal Crossing sets and some Duplo and Disney sets. Anything else that's a bit rare, maybe? Uh, that's about it. Yeah, but this is a place called FNAC, <laughs> F-N-A-C, FNAC, and it's like a, like I said, a bit like HMV, but it sells bits of all sorts, pop culture, books, and also tech. Right, let's go and have a look, see if we can find any more Lego in some other stuff, places. All right, so we're now going into Achon, which is a massive French supermarket. I mean, it is huge. Look at how huge it is. It's all the way down there. And they're bound to have some Lego. So let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Loads of luggage, obviously popular with tourists. But we're not on the lookout for luggage. We want Lego. Loads of TVs and stuff over the back. Oh, we've got downstairs as well. That's where all the food is, I think. Downstairs. Yeah, so upstairs is all the homewares and accessories and all that kind of stuff and clothing oh look and there's a lego sign and more importantly lego let's go and have a little look and look they have got a whole aisle both sides of lego and there's no one in there apart from someone stocking a shelf or checking prices oh yes let's have a look i'll start one end and go through so we've got a load of classic and creator sets as you can see the prices are in euros obviously because i'm in france um but you can work out the conversion for yourself. I'm not a calculator and I can't work it out on the top of my head, but I think 44.99 is probably about 39.99, something like that, so it's about the same as back home. Lego Friends sets. Yeah, plenty of Lego Friends. And we've got some city sets. 17.99 for the burger truck. That's about the same price. You usually get it for 13.50 back home. They got the uh, sightseeing bus, twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah, about twenty five, same price. What else there? Any stuff that's uh, retired over in the UK? Uh, some city stuff, loads of city stuff. Yeah, got some pretty decent sets here. Load of Ninjago, if you're into your Ninjago. Yeah, loads of that. Got the Indiana Jones set down there, 36 99 so maybe a couple of quid cheaper once you do the conversion. It's about 35 back home. Some dream sets. And Sonic. Got some Animal Crossing as well. The T-Rex fossil down there. Or the dinosaur fossil, 36 99 So on offer you can get it for about 27 back home, but it's about the going rate. Uh, what else we got here? Minecraft. Loads of Minecraft. Well, I say loads. Batman, X-Wing. Some Wakanda sets. Don't usually see them on the shelf back home. Forty-two ninety-nine for the Batmobile. That's a bit expensive. And then we've got the god awful construction figures down there. I hate those. I really hate those. Mandrake seventy-five. 
Wow, that's a ridiculous price. Forty nine ninety nine for the invisible hand. That's mm, not too bad. And then they've got the Tantive Four, probably about forty five. Board in the Tantive Four down there, about probably forty three, forty four. R2s, 85, you can get that on offer, about 72 back home. A couple of Harry Potter sets. What's that one up there? Shrieking Shack, Wampin Willow. And what else? Some Speed Champs. Any different ones to back home? No, they're all the same. You don't often see that one though on the shelf, the Cognizant set, the Aston Martin and the safety car, 52 99 I mean you can pick speed champs up quite cheap back home. BMW Twin Pack, Fast and Furious, the Audi, Lotus Avija there. Uh, a couple of, I did notice on their website they had the Red 5 helmet for 49 99 That's not it there but obviously that's a price tag for someone else, but they've only got Captain Rex, which I think... How much is Captain Rex? It's in the wrong place. Probably about 75. And then we've got some Technic sets. So nothing jumping out at me here. I mean, pretty sort of similar to what we've got back home. That Fnac had some good sets in there, but the boxes were just beaten up badly. 85 for the Vespa, you can get that for about 66 back home. Botanicals, not really interested in those. 52.99, you can get that for 35 back home. The Kingfisher, but that's all the way down from there to there. So we'll just have a quick look on this side. I thought it was another load of um, Lego but it's not, it's, you only got Duplo here, not interested in Duplo but it's uh, a lot of it's Playmobil so yeah nothing that I'm gonna buy but it is very well stocked in this place very well stocked and it doesn't look like a jumble sale but yeah that's it, that's, for, that's the Lego in Archon in Val de Europe in France so that's it, all done at Valde Europe, and that place is absolutely massive. If you love your shopping, you're gonna love it there. It's huge. And then uh, next to it, there's a Valde village, which is like a designer outlet village. So plenty of shopping there. And it's about two or three kilometers from Disneyland Paris. So if you're in this area, well worth checking out. But only spotted two places that had Lego, and that was Fnac and Archon. I mean, the boxes in Fnac, some of those boxes were ridiculous. I don't know how anyone's gonna pay full price for that Hulkbuster. That was just ridiculous. But they, they did have some good sets. And uh, Arshon had a good range of sets. A lot of current ones, but just nothing that I wanted to get. And uh, I could get it cheaper back home. And I think this car is waiting to get the space. That's nice, isn't it? And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna do it. We're gonna go back to the hotel at Disneyland Paris. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you soon. Bye.